Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla. Emily. <laughs> and this is Emily, and today we are going to be playing with a very exciting collection. So it's getting closer to Halloween now, and um, this is the first Halloween related video that I'm going to be posting on my channel. Um, I have plans for some other videos as well, but I'm not sure if those are going to happen. I hope they do happen, but hopefully um, you guys will see those in the upcoming days or in the upcoming week. Um, but today we are going to be playing with the Makeup Revolution and nightmare before christmas collection so we have both of the palettes we have the jack palette and we have the sally palette we also have the two highlighters and we also have the um four lip glosses so we are so excited um nightmare before christmas is such a fun movie and we always like to watch it around halloween time maybe even christmas time because you know it's appropriate for both um so yeah but we are going to be playing with these um i think that i'm going to be using the jack palette and then emily's going to be using the sally palette um i just want to point out how beautiful the um artwork on this palettes are they are just so stinking cute i love how they like did a, like a pop of color for Jack, it's like a bright green, and then for Sally, it's the um, bright orange, but like it's, it's like a bright orange. So I'm, I'm loving the um, bright uh, colors that they decided to go with. Um, I also love the artwork on the highlighters. I was only gonna get one highlight, but I mean, when I saw the artwork, it's just so stinking cute. I couldn't, I couldn't leave them. I had to pick them both up. So let's get started with our eye looks. So Emily's gonna create an eye look using Sally. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to create a look using the Jack palette. Um, at first, I had only picked up the Sally palette. I didn't feel like I needed both in my life, but when I saw the Sally palette I fell in love with everything like the colors were so pretty and the artwork was so pretty so I decided to go ahead and also pick up the Jack palette um, and then go from there so um, there's a lot of fun colors I don't know what I'm gonna do but let's get started I do want to point out that this color right here called love never dies it's, ashy. it's like weird and interesting it's like tie-dye <laughs> it looks like when you pour um like clorox on like a colored t-shirt <laughs> that's how it looks like like if it's like mold like mold or something but i know it's not mold but that's what it looks like it's so weird and then like just rubbing my fingers on it it comes off, which is like off and weird, but yeah, that's just... Maybe they want it to be more too. I don't know. It's just a really weird shade. If you have this palette, let me know if yours did that in the color Love Never Dies. Um, just because I'm interested to know if it was just mine or <laughs> if it's actually part of the shadow. So, um, because the purple one here, Spooky, is also doing it in the corners. Maybe which is weird just, yeah i don't know it's so weird because it kind of looks like kind of looks like mold but i mean i wouldn't i, I don't think that makeup has mold makeup can mold you yeah. think so i don't know it's so weird look this one has it too it's called sandy paws or Sa sandy claws yeah. can i miss your sandy claws i want to do it let's draw strong I don't know if you can get copyrighted for that. That is so weird. It looks it looks like mold. I don't even know if I should put this on my face. You to be honest, you seem way more interested than you should be. Because it looks you just like, look at wake it. up. Look at it. I know, mommy. I told you it looks like somebody hasn't put lotion on in three years. But look at the texture on top. It actually looks like mold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that one on your face. I don't know if I should even use this palette because 
don't put this one on your face and don't put that one on your face. Just, it's so dusty. Yeah, it is. Just don't put those on your face. Just use the other ones. Ignore that one. If that one says Sally, is there a Jack in this one? There is a Jack. Where is Sally in this one? Sally. Mm -hmm. And then Jack. They should have made Jack white if they're going to make Sally a teal, like her skin color. I don't know, that is just so weird. I don't know. Just don't use I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, we're gonna prime on it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I have to go in. I'm gonna go in with bones first, which is this one right here. Bones. And I'm going to um uh, just set the primer that I used. I'm gonna go into I have to go in with this pumpkin king because it's like the highlight of the whole palette so i'm just gonna go in with that same um brush my sedona eb13 and i'm just gonna go into pumpkin king and i'm gonna put that on the crease how where do you find the name well you, yours is a bh bh brush. cosmetic eight so it doesn't oh right here it's a bh number eight that's what i just said Let's see what I'm gonna go to. I'm going to do a transitions shade of Mad Scientist in this corner, this little shade right here. I'm going to cover my mom. This is a really dope thing to try. Can't speak English. I do have to say that color is blending very nicely. If you guys haven't tried Makeup Revolution, their eyeshadows are usually really, really good. I don't think that I've ever tried a Makeup Revolution palette or shadow that I don't like. Um, all of the ones that I have tried, they're super pigmented and they perform really well. So I have no complaints so far. This color is actually very pigmented and it's blending out really good. Now that I have the orange down, I'm gonna move into Pumpkin Song, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna put that one slightly under the Pumpkin King. I don't know what to do, because there's so many colors in this palette. You, know, you got your purples, you got your greens, you got your oranges, your pinks. And you got a periwinkle, it's really fire. Wow, this color is really, really pigmented, and it's very beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with Dr. Finkelstein. Finkelstein, I'm just doing this one. Whatever color you want to call it. Gray. So, I think next I'm gonna go into Barrel, which is like this brownish color here, and I'm gonna put it on the outer part of my lid. That one is a little lighter than I thought. Then I'm gonna go back to Pumpkin King, which is that bright orange, and I'm gonna try and blend all three of those colors. I feel like I can go a tad bit darker on the outer corner, so I'm gonna go into Hinterlands, which is the dark brown. It's like a dark, cool brown. <coughs> and I'm just gonna add that as well. Just to give it a little bit more darkness. Okay, so now I am gonna take. Does that look the same? Yeah. So now I'm gonna take uh, Eureka, which is this pretty like shimmer shade. It's like a silver purplish type of shade, and I'm gonna put it on the halfway of my lid here. Let me do it with a brush first and see how that goes, and then we'll go from there. Oh, that's like really pigmented. Mm -hmm. And that's without wetting the brush. I feel like it's really weird. I usually just like put concealer on my eyelid. 
Yeah. Maybe I'll just put some shimmy shoes on top. No, a lot of people do not. Both the brush and your finger works with this shade. It's actually very pigmented. It's a very pretty shade. It actually looks more silver than purple on the lid, but on the pan, it has purple in it. I think, just because I want to play with a few colors, I'm gonna go into Jack's house, which is this black with a lot of shimmer. And I'm gonna put it like right here to kind of meet the dark brown and the shimmer, just to see how that looks. I'm gonna grab another flat brush for that. I'm thinking a brush from Revlon and I'm gonna use that Jack's House shade which is the black with shimmer and I'm gonna just kind of create like a I like to go with pumpkin song which is just this orangey color right there and I'm gonna put that so I'm gonna go in with this elf blending brush so it's just a little bit smaller and tighter and I'm gonna go into um, hinterlands which was that dark brown and I'm just gonna put it as close to the lash line as I can this green shade right here is calling my name I wonder if I can put that somewhere maybe like in my inner corner I'm gonna try to put oogie boogie in my inner corner just because it's calling my name I know it doesn't match anything in my eyes, but... I mean, it kind of looks kind of cool. You just look Halloween. <laughs> Unintentionally, I created a Halloween look. That Oogie Boogie shade wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go into Everybody's Scream, which is this glittery green shade, and see if I can make it pop a little bit more. Okay, um, since I didn't say what I did. At first, I put Scream Queen on my lid. I said that. But then I didn't like it, so I put Better Together on it. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. So now I'm going to take misfit love and put it under yeah. okay so here is our completed looks obviously emily looks like i don't know she freaking looks like a model i'm looking over here like i don't know plain jane <laughs> okay she's okay so um anyways we have a couple of highlights to try so we have um text me <laughs> we have this one right here this one's called moonlight mischief and madness and then this one is called oh no can you move your hand mischief love misfit love so mischief. emily's gonna use misfit mischief misfit let me say mischief <laughs> so emily's gonna use misfit love and i'm gonna use moonlight mischief Ma madness and we're gonna try these out and see. I don't even know how happy, but I don't think I have Because I love the embossment as Jack's face on it. It's so cute. Now this is more like a collector's item, really, because um, it's super bulky. So you, I mean, you really can't take it anywhere. It's like super bulky, oh, but oh. it's super cute. So okay. Don't know if you can see it. There it is. It's like the same color as my skin. Wow. It's like very, very, very pigmented. Ooh, I like that. That's so pretty. Here's the two highlights side by side. This one's a little bit more whiter. This one's more champagne, more goldish. Um, but it looks really pretty. I like how it looks, so. My eyelashes popping off. 
it's a little wider for me like on camera you can't really see it that much but in person you can kind of see that it's a little too light so i'm not sure how i'm liking them and so now we are going to try the four lip glosses here so emily which one do you want to try on spooky wiggy so i'm gonna go in with okay. sally and this seems to be like a like a pinkish yeah, it's like a pink with like lots of glitter. So I'm just gonna go in with Sally. I'm gonna take a nude with lots of glitter too. There's not a lot of pigment to Sally. It's like very, very minimal. And they also don't really have a scent. Um, mine's just really shiny. It's a ginger kind of color. That's very pretty, that's actually metallic. Ginger. It looks very metallic. That was really good. It doesn't, it, it, it it doesn't really match with the thing, yeah, but it looks eyes. good. But it looks pretty. Okay, so then this is what Sally looks like. It doesn't have a lot of pigment or a lot of glitter, but it's very pretty. It's very comfortable. It's not sticky at all, and it feels hydrated. Does yours feel hydrating too? Yeah. Okay, and then let's try Zero. And Zero really is just a clear gloss. There's no color to it. It's just clear. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna go in with Jack. Yep, just with Jack. Oh, it is really clear. It's just clear. It's just, it's just clear. I'll keep you this one. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. She said no, but she means yes. No. This is what Jack looks like. So Jack is very... It's like very silvery. It's like a silvery type of shade. My lips are naturally pink, so... I don't know how I feel about colors like these on my person. Oh, my <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's cute. I like it. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I like it. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. Um, it's nice. It's basically just a clear lip gloss, just with a little bit of white glitter. Yeah. That's pretty. I like it. But yeah, guys, this is all of the uh, Makeup Revolution and Nightmare Before Christmas makeup. Um, final thoughts. I like the way that the eyeshadow came out. Um, and then when I swatched this palette, I was impressed with a lot of shades and I was disappointed with some of them. So some of the mattes they swatch horribly especially this love never dies shade right here this swatched horrendous um is the worst shade in the palette i would have to say um and a lot of the shimmers swatched really really nicely for instance this moon color oh my gosh it's swatched so beautiful um also the these two right here lock and shock those two swatched so beautiful the blues swatched amazing and blues oftentimes swatch horrible um so i was really impressed with a lot of the shadows in this palette and i'm i'm really excited to use it again to create different looks um i'm happy with the look that i created i kind of feel like without intention i created a very halloween inspired look <laughs> um and i really like the way that it came out i like the way that the shadows performed they were easy to blend out and that um shimmer shade that i used went perfectly without wetting it um with the brush and with my finger so pretty impressed with that so far um and then the sally what did you think about the sally i, I like the sally i just did a very Palette is very beautiful, you know. I mean, Dr. Finkelstein, this little gray shade right here, it wasn't as amazing as I really thought it was gonna be. Because on the palette, I mean, it looks like a pretty gray, like a very foggy gray. But at the same time, on my lid, it didn't do nothing. It made my pink that I was trying to do, it made it more purpley. It made it more pop. Um, Scream Queen was all right. We're gonna talk about that one. Better Together. It, see, it looks very metallic-y, 
but in reality when you put it on your lid it's very purple like a very nice glitter purple that is all i use mad scientist very nice nude nice transition save beautiful okay so i haven't really swatched all of these shades in the sally palette so i'm not sure how some of them perform I know Emily said the shills wasn't her favorite. Oh, yeah, shills wasn't my favorite either because, but only because it, you didn't really see the glitter a lot. It, it was mostly just like what you put on your eyelid so you could put another shade on to make it look bright. Some of these shades are swatching very nicely, actually. I wanted to use romantic, but I didn't want to. Oh, look. So I think it's going to be like the Jack palette. Some of them are going to be amazing and then others are going to be okay. And then other stuff is not going to be that great, but that's to be expected with palettes like these. Um, that's why I only wanted to pick up Sally at first because I knew that when palettes like these come out, there's a lot of hits and misses. Um, but I really did love the artwork on both of them. I think that the artwork is amazing. I wish that the inside palettes would have been, the inside shadows would have been just as amazing as the artwork. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, I mean, I don't know. If you are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, I would definitely recommend uh, one of these palettes or both if you want to collect them um, If you're not into Nightmare Before Christmas that much then I wouldn't really recommend these to you um, Just because there are better palettes out there um, So if you're not into like the theme of it, then you know, there's no point for you to pick them up um, The highlighters they were really really pretty. I actually like the champagne one which is Misfit love a lot better just because the other one is a little too light for my skin tone um but i can always use it as you know my inner corner or my brow bone um but like i said i mainly bought this collection because of the theme which is nightmare before christmas there's a few um you know collections that have been coming out that i've been buying specifically because the collector in me like the sailor moon from colourpop the hocus pocus from colourpop now this one the friends from makeup revolution as well um so those are things that the collector in me uh, wanted to have um and then as far as the lip glosses i wouldn't recommend every single one of them um maybe like one if you liked a shade the you know clear one or clear gloss um, is an everyday thing you know um what this one is okay um the more i like it i mean the more i see it the more i like it so like that one's okay oh and then this one is beautiful if you like metallic key colors this one is beautiful yeah and then this one is like a clear gloss so don't be intimidated by the pink um it's mainly just clear on your lips so yeah um you can get this collection either at alta or at makeup revolution um and i hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video um don't forget to subscribe and join our little family we are slowly growing and i thank every single one of you for um you know joining my family and yeah we'll catch you guys in our next video Deuces.